was tied to key the destiny of Samson. Mm-hmm. You are going to pray. Every destiny mm-hmm. killer. Delilah. Delilah. I know me this. name of Delilah. Jesus. You will pray. Oh, God, separate me from them. Oh, God, separate me from them. Every destiny of ministry as a minister. I married to my spiritual life. the name of Jesus Almighty God. the love of the we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to immerse yourself and pray. A prayerful believer is a powerful believer. Yes. Uh, as we enter next month from tomorrow, September, so this prayer will work in your life. You will see help in the left, help in the right, and you will see help on every angle of your life. Amen. This is a preparation to step into the mother of Umba, 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 more starting from tomorrow. That is why the Lord Amen. said we should deal with destiny helper so that they can it connect so. you as you enter the mother of Umba, Umba, Mons. And also, I want to encourage you that tonight, mark my word, mark my word, by next week, Thursday, you will share testimony because you will be connected from this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me. There's another thing now to figure out again. Jonah, in the boat in your life, that want to make your boat to go down. You are going to pray that every journal must be exposed. But listen, listen, listen to this before you pray that prayer. Let me tell you the story. Jonah rose up of Tito Tashi from the presence of the Lord and went down to Japa and he found a ship going to Tashi. So he paid the fee thereof and he went there, he went down into E to go with them unto Tashi from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was likely to be broken, because Jonah was in the ship with those with those marina, and then that what happened? God sent a storm because of Jonah with those innocent people. Every Jonah that want to make you and your family and your ministry and your business to go down in life that are 
come into your life, you are going to pray, oh God, expose the children out of the life. Oh, I <laughs> we pray. Amen. Very soon, I will call on Pastor Matthew very soon now. I have about three more, uh, three to four minutes more before I run to our box. You are going to pray this prayer. The Bible says it disappoints the devices of the crafty that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. You are going to pray. Every power that is frustrating the vision of God in your life shall be frustrated. Shall be frustrated. Oh, As the Lord of frustrate every power. I will frustrate the vision of God in your life. As the power of God, the Holy Spirit. And the innocent the power. The land of God in my heart. Come in from there. The power of frustrate the vision of God in your life. Let us frustrate the powers. We pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 pray once again. It disappoints the device of the clergy, so their air cannot perform their enterprise. You are going to pray the prayer this way. Oh Lord, frustrate powers, frustrate the works of my hand. Oh frustrate Lord, frustrate power. powers, frustrate the work of my hand. Why can't you call upon the Lord? That God will take every power that is frustrating the work of your hands. God will frustrate every power that is making my own God for you. God will frustrate every power that is making you trouble in your marriage, in your home, trouble in your business. God will frustrate every power that is fighting against your marital life, your marital status. The Lord will frustrate all those powers. Uh, 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 uh,
In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Finally, you are going to pray. The Bible says, and the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work. He shall preserve you into his everlasting kingdom. You will not backslide. Amen. Amen. To Egypt, you will not go to meet the Assyrians, you will not go to go to the Babylonia, you will not you will not fall away. You are going to pray that God will preserve your life, we preserve you, we preserve your ministry, we preserve your family, we preserve your life, and God will preserve you. Every evil works getting against your life, God will deliver you from every evil work. Every evil works from the marine kingdom. Every evil was coming from Jezebel. Every evil was coming from Delilah. Every evil was coming from Aaron. The Lord that delivered you from every evil work. Every evil work. Every evil work of the will not prevent your life. The God of the wicked will not stress upon you and your household. The God of the wicked will not be broken. The God of the Jesus name we pray Amen In Jesus name we pray Amen Pastor Omar Rewa are you online with us Yes sir Can you please help me run up this section please our Father, we thank you very much. The Bible says the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the Lord giver between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of his people be. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Without any shadow of doubt, our prayer tonight has been unto you, and continually will be unto you. And Lord, we have prayed for destiny helpers. Lord, we know, as our pastor have revealed to all, the importance of having destiny helpers in life and what the life of any man can amount to without destiny helper. It will have been told tonight that even Jesus needed people around him to fulfill the assignment, the divine assignment given. Holy Father, I like pray. That whatever in our life that is not of you, whatever only God that will help, that will make us to miss the one that you have assigned to accelerate and to facilitate and to enhance our life. Spirit of the living God, yank it off our lives tonight uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, and the Father of the Holy Ghost. We burn every properties of Satan in our life. I ask, oh God, as we cross into the new moment, we are not going with the control of the devil. We are not going with the properties of the enemy. We are not going with the properties of the Jebusites, the Amorites, and the Egyptians. We are going new into the ember months in Jesus' name. By the time we return next mm -hmm. week, there will be testimony according to the declaration of your servant. Then you yes. in your Lord Jesus, so yes. shall be no power yes. on earth, no power anywhere We hinder the declaration of your servant. We thank you because yes. we know that. Yes. Yes. We have prayed. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Pastor. Pastor mm. Matthew, over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are in the period of open check now. Uh, I don't say somebody we have not called before, but if there's anybody, only we, we are going to grant only one person and then Pastor Mike Komarege, please uh, prepare. If there's anybody that have prayer requests, please we want you to 
uh, to say it to us now. So all the people online can pray for you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to honor his name in Jesus' name. Uh, and I want to to know, uh, my language is say what they are looking for in Sokoto State. It is in Sokoto. That's me, what you are looking for. Somewhere else is in the online. Everyone who we have been given, we have been given gift of uh, different, uh, different gifts. Do not hesitate to use it in this period. And Almighty God is going to honor uh, his gift in our life in Jesus' name. So if you have any prayer request, please, I want you to say it. We are going to honor only one person. Any prayer request for anybody? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. This German prayer, my niece is suffering for fibroid and she wants to go to hospital, no money. Hmm. I pray that God can provide the money for the operation in Jesus' name. Uh, Pastor Mark, over to you. And I want to remind our dad that said the prayer. Uh, we have been watching a lot of uh, testimony on GCK. If God can do that, God is going to do your own too in Jesus' name. Amen. And by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, your prayer Amen. is going to be answered in Jesus' name. Over to you, Amen. Pastor Mike. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We want to bless your name because you have given us a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every nail shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, we know and we believe that your word is true. Oh Lord, we pray for this individual, Father, who wants to go to the hospital but doesn't have money. Father, we pray that there will be no need to even go to the hospital. Amen. I pray, Father, wherever Amen. this individual is now, by Amen. the authority, by the yes. power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you healed. In the name of Jesus, Amen. mighty God, Amen. I am praying and I am asking. The Bible oh, yes. says the Lord sent his word and his yes. word, he lets them. Oh God, I send the word of power. I send the word of healing to that body now. You body, you pain, whatever the challenge may be, hear the word of the Lord. I order you, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every problem in that body, come out in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I am praying and I'm asking. The Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, he shall be free indeed. Oh God, my Father, I pray, Lord, whatever be the nature of the disease, whatever be the nature of the sickness, whatever be the nature of the problem, oh God, I pray, whether visible or invisible, hear the word of the Lord. I command you from the roots. You cannot remain in that body, that body, yes. that temple, that body, the temple yes. of the Lord. Yes. Anything yes. that defies the temple of God, in with God destroy. I command your foundation. I command your roots. I command your origin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to be rooted out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord, that the blood of Jesus will do the work of healing. We do the work of miracle in that body now. By the stripe of the Lord, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We Thank believe you. it is done. In oh, Jesus' yes. name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Not only Amen. that, we are grateful for our dad on financial support. That by the power and the blood, he says something about money. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, where there's no way God is going to open way for him in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's open, let's call upon the name of Mighty the Lord. Father, we bring the name of Jesus. Let's open our way. You will supply for our daddy. Your you will provide baby. for him. You will bless him. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, you are the one that brought money out of the mouth of the fish. You have not changed. Because Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Oh God, we have prayed. Oh God, Father, for oh God, our destiny. Lord, I pray. Oh God, before tomorrow morning, visit oh God our daddy. Visit him, oh God, with destiny help. Change his story forever. Oh God, I pray. Financially, God change his status. Change his story. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I want us to do something for him. Exactly. At his age, I don't know. I don't know the age but when you hear the force you will see that uh by the grace of the lord uh is aging then uh if care is not taken but it will not be his portion in jesus name then Amen. Amen. imagine that a child Amen. that is son that's a daughter that can see my dad what is this okay driver or whatsoever i'm coming to pick you tomorrow or whatsoever meet me in this hospital tomorrow what do you say about that? So we now bear the, the, the genes, the link of poverty in that family. How God is going to do it, I don't know. But I know God has been doing it. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all the lineage of poverty in the life of our father, just because he, I asked for that prayer today, God will take it away in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father. Oh, God, I pray. You are the one that changes times and seasons. Oh, Lord, I pray. Change, oh, God, Father, the situation of our brother, the situation of our father, in the name of Jesus. Who changes? 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 Who God, I pray. Provide. Supply. In the name of Jesus. Who God, I pray. Provide for him. Supply his needs. In the name of Jesus. Who God, lift him up by your power. In the name of Jesus. I don't know the Lord. I just strength of the Lord. Who God. Who God. In the name of Jesus. I pray, supply, 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 supply. Bible says, and my God, supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Oh God, I pray, all the needs of our brother, all the needs of our father, who go supply, who supply, who go 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 supply, in the mighty name of Jesus, who go change the story, who go change Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, I want to ask the uh, the brother. I uh, put the request. Uh, how much is the money, please? It, it, it's it's going to be one fifty in US. Ah, one fifty dollars. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, the one is it is it for drugs or for what? For operation. Operation is okay. Now I want to say something for a random. We are uh, 17 in the platform now. Please, God know our hearts. And God know our pockets. And God know our accounts. So I don't want us to be, be like the Pharisees that we are able to help somebody in need now, now, now. And we are praying. Why we have the money in the account. We have the money in our back account. We have the money in our pocket. We have the money in our purse. And we are praying. Except we don't have the money. But if we have the money with us and the money is in our account, maybe ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, whatever, I want us to send the money to Pastor Matthew. 
please. And then, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm saying this, I'm saying this mm -hmm. by the needing of the, the Holy Spirit. You yes, don't Jesus. know, you don't know, you don't know how God works. That's your money that is in the bank account. Somebody is in need, we have the money in our pocket and we are praying. We have the money in our purse, we are praying. And the money is there. We are still praying that God will come and send help down. Please, if the mo you have the money, and God know the money is there, except you don't have. But if you have the money, please, let's uh, demonstrate the character of a child of God. And let's see, Pastor Matthew, for the case of our brother, that for the request he asked for the operation, I, I want to give $10. $15, $20, and thereabouts. God understand. And I believe as you do this, I want to assure you, mark my word, mark my word. As you do this, the Lord Almighty will surprise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we know, that there, we know that there are principles of answering prayers. There are laws that of answering prayers. And that is why we are called children of God. Because we are obedient to your commandments that make us to be children of God. Not like the Pharisees who pray, who pray, who pray, and their brother are in need. And the good Samaritan, like the good Samaritan, who fell by the wayside. The Pharisee came, they saw the man be wounded, they passed their way. The Levi came, they saw him be wounded, they passed their way. A good Samaritan, who was not a Jew, a good Samaritan came. He saw the man that was wounded dying. He take care of that man. And Jesus recommend, recommended that good Samaritan, that the work of the religious people, who just carry Bible, who go to temple, who pray, and they refuse to help the man that, that is wounded, dying right on the roadside. And Jesus said, go and do likewise. Lord, by the needing of your spirit, I have charged the people online right now. And I've told them, those that have the money, they can see this particular need. I pray as they obey this instruction. In the name of Jesus, I pray you will provide for them and supply all their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That brother, that fear is coming to your hearts right now. That spirit of fear in the heart of that brother, I take authority over that fear by the authority of the Lord. I bind the spirit of fear. I cast it out of your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the power to obey the voice of God, I pray. May that spirit fall upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, we are praying for destined helper and destined killer. Father, we are praying, we are asking in this platform, raise up destined helper. Amen. That we all this our prayer online in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any power, mm. any force, any spirit that want to key this conference prayer online, we command those power to be crushed out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I speak mm. grace into your life. I speak forgiveness into your life. Amen. I speak authority into your life. Amen. I speak power Amen. into your life. And Amen. I speak Amen. Amen. in the name of Jesus. He shall be well mm. with you. Amen. 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 Father, in Jesus' Thank name, you, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, the joy the Lord will be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. I just, Amen. just Amen. don't want to drag uh, Benjamin into the into the case. Since you have said that you contribute that money to Brother Benjamin, but let us leave it like that. I deserve him for another thing next time. So let's share the grace together. And then let us believe in the in the word of prayer. Let us believe if that money come out, we will give it to you. If, if you are not going to use it for that sickness whatsoever. But let's believe on the prayer. Let's believe on what our pastor said to 
the joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. Uh, let's share this grace together. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. So, we submit on Saturday for the grace of God. Let's continue to invite other people. Please, I want somebody on the platform that can be repeating for me that uh, submit your prayer request just once in a day. If anybody can be doing it for me, take it as a ministry. God so we reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Why do you want to buy groceries? It's not because you know you're coming to Lagos. Why do you want to buy groceries? So you knew things. And you were going to come to Lagos. Expectant. Amen. 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 Tonight, we are praying on a very important uh, topic. And that topic, which is the basement for today's prayer, is, if you have it, let's echo it together. Please. You say what? You shall not be barren. We shall not be barren in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And our topic today is, I shall not die, but live. Okay, in the I'll book die. of Psalm 118, verse 17, it says, I shall not die, but live and declare mm -hmm. the works of the Lord. And that's what we have come to do today, to declare to decree God. and God will answer our plea in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord because God is faithful. Before now, the enemy will have eliminated us, but God is faithful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is great. He, he did, did not grant the petition of our enemy. Shall we open our mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? You appreciate him? Bless the name of the Lord. Over your children, bless the name of the Lord. Your family, your relative, open your mouth. Let me hear you blessing the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we answer our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I shall not die, but live. I want to tell you that the choice to live and to die is in the hand of God. And what keeps us alive is the fact that God is not done with us yet. You know, I just look at life sometimes and I say, uh -uh. why is it that some people die early? And why is it that some people die at a very old age? And now a lot of analysis begin to flow through my head. And I said, number one, some people die because they have finished their ministry on earth. Some people die because they have gotten to a point where they cannot come back again. Look at it. For the Spirit maketh intercession for us. 
And each time Jesus before God keeps saying, keep interceding for us, keep pleading, it will change. It will change. Once a person has got to a point whereby to trace his, his step back to God and now start the ministry that God has given unto him, if he's too far from a starting point, that person will go. Now, if your starting point, if you are making progress in your starting point, but not serious progress, the Spirit is making intercession for us, reason why you should live longer. When you begin to function where God wants you to function, He gives you guarantee of more long life. And another, another analysis to this is that, like I said, the enemy, all they wanted is that we are dead. Seeing you alive is not what gives them joy because they feel that they cannot do what they are supposed to do once you are there. And so the best thing is how to eliminate to kill is nothing to the enemy. To kill is nothing to witches. And that's why you now see people that are incarnated by power of demon now. So to just carry knife and just shoot somebody. You know, I was reading the news yesterday, a 20-year-old boy uh, killed his father, wanted to use his father for money rituals. And so he took uh, some uh, vital part of his father, wanting to go for rituals. So to kill is just nothing. All they want is to terminate life. You are going to pray tonight. You are going to cry unto the Lord. Yes. Younger people are dying. A day old dies. Old age dies. You will tell the Lord, I will not die. Hezekiah oh, prayed and said, Lord, it is not yet my time to die. Okay, now you will. Spend this life. I want you to open your mouth and tell the Lord, say, Lord, I will not die, but I will live. Open your mouth and begin to pray. This time around, I want to hear your voice in prayer. I will not die. I must not die. I will live. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. If you are praying, let me hear you pray. I will not die. I will live. I will not die, but I will live. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We were having some uh, section of prayers earlier this week. And um, while we were praying, and the demon began to manifest, that demon said, he said, see, I am the oldest of my counterpart. And in our spirit world, they are already tormenting me to come and do a renewal. And if I do not uh, quickly do what they are asking me to do, I will die. She said, but I have found somebody, a young damsel. He said, that one has a star. He said, and that star is that star I want to use. He said, that is why I am looking for the glory of that person. Say somebody just finished using it. And through your prayer, you have collected it from that person. And so it's my turn to use it now so that I will not die. I want you to pray today and tell the Lord, for everyone that is looking for my star, for everyone that wants to kill me why I am alive, Holy Spirit, let the grand open now and begin to swallow them up. Somebody open your mouth and pray. 
I thought I will hear people praying. There are many glory that have been traded away because of lack of our prayer of our of our prayers. Prayerlessness have made a lot of people a victim. But we do not know how to pray. Oh, the spirit make an intercession for us. No enemy will use my life for promotion. No enemy will use my glory for survival. They will not exchange my life with your life. Why should you die before your time? Somebody open your mouth and pray. It's a time of prayer. It's a time of seriousness. I want to challenge you, brothers and sisters, to pray, please. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, he said, you think it's just easy like that. You call your glory. You say, my glory come, my glory come. She said, you think it's just easy like that to, to just get the glory? He said, I hope you know that there are different kinds of glory. He said, some, some people have used their own. He said, some people, their glory is very small. He said, this one I'm talking about is the one that has light. And that light is shining. He said, you just see that? He said, I want my glory. Is he, 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 he said, is he a prayer of one hour that will bring back your glory? Or you think it's a prayer of two hours that will bring back your glory? And do you know that many of us, you will see people, they will pray under 30 minutes, they are tired of prayer. Some people will pray under one hour. Uh -uh, I have prayed today now, and God is not a wicked God. He said, is this how you think you will get back your glory? I don't know how much left you have. But I know that God is giving us long life on this platform. Mm -hmm. But I want you to pray and tell the Lord. Say, Lord, wherever my glory is now, let it locate me alive. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Let it locate me alive. You know, sometimes it shows how we pray in our closets. When you pray and God cannot even hear what you are saying, you are giving God another assignment. You say, come and listen to me. Listen to my heart and hear what I am saying. You cannot even pray that God will hear. If this is the same way that blind Bartimaeus was praying in those days, Bartimaeus will have died being a blind man. Because this kind of small, small prayer cannot stop the movement of Jesus. This kind of prayer we pray cannot even create awareness in the heavenly. But tonight, your glory is important. If God did not want you to use that glory, he will not attach it to your life. God has given you that glory. The enemy is, is debarring you of making use of that glory. God must arise and fight for you. The Holy Spirit must arise and fight for you. Please open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, every decision taken against my life by witchcraft spirit, let that decision be destroyed now. Every decision that is taken against my life, they don't have the power to create you. They don't have power to bring to life. All they know how to do is to destroy. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
It should be more. We keep, we keep which comes. It's not which comes. Holy Spirit, nullify it. Nullify every decision taken against my life. By witchcraft, by demons, power of darkness. Open your mouth and pray. I want you to withdraw anything that is representing you from the evil altar. Is it an idol? What is representing you on the altar? Is it your clutch? Is it your property? What is that thing that is representing you on the altar? And they carry that thing, the joya shook that baby. So once they shook that baby, in real life, the person will begin to have, uh, uh, you know, the doctor will diagnose. They will say, ah, he has kidney stone. The doctor will say he has appendicitis. The doctor will say he has renal problem. Once it is done on the altar there, whatever is representing me on the altar, I command you to cash fire now. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire now. Yes. That is the prayer that can stop the movement of Jesus. It is not the one you pray like you are reading memory verse. Or the one you are praying like I am in a hurry now. That one does not hold water. I want you to break and lose yourself from every evil spiritual agreement. Every spiritual agreement of death. Break out, lose yourself. Break out, lose, your, lose yourself. I refuse to die. I will not die. I must not die. Open your mouth and breathe. I cannot die. Why are they carrying the report of death? I will not die. I cannot die. That is not the plan of God for your life. God has not decided that you will die. So why should you die? I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. And once you begin to see that sickness, and then you are looking at the eyes like they want to come and kill me. Catch fire. They are refused to die. Whatever is speaking against me on the evil altar, I command thunder to destroy that altar now. I refuse to die. I will not die. Home, there will be forgiveness. In our home, there will be forbearance. I'm telling you something. Marriage without forgiveness, hey, is a serious issue. How many times there are that have offended my wife? How many times? How many times there are that my wife's my wife has offended me? But we have to let go. We have to overlook. We have to forgive each other. We have to forgive, and you have to keep forgiving. Number one, for your own internal well-being, for your own spiritual well-being, for your own physical well-being, and for your health sake, and by and by, ultimately, for you to get to heaven. And that's why we're praying and asking, oh Lord, the grace to forbear. Oh Lord, the grace to forgive every now and then. Let the only ghost bestow. Look at that place I just went to you. It says forgiving, forbearing. It talked about forbearing one another. And it talked about forgiving one another. If any man have a quarry, that means there's possibility of quarry and, and all of that between husband and wife. Of course, there is possibility. Will anyone tell you, okay, there have not been any misunderstanding? Of course, there's bound to be misunderstanding, and there's bound to be more misunderstanding even in the future. Even when you do not plan it, of course, there's bound to be misunderstanding. But the scripture say, as Christ forgave you, hey, so do ye. Not as so so pastor forgave the wife, not as so so dickine madam, coordinator wife. Not as she forgave her husband. The scriptures say, as Christ forgave you, so do ye. Ah, 
so do ye, my God. So do ye. That is, do likewise. Follow the same pattern. Follow the same way. Hey, in the name of Jesus, we need grace. Grace to practice what Jesus says. In the name of the Lord, for bearing one another and forgiving one another. Are you praying? Are you asking the Lord? Are you calling upon the name of the Lord? The grace to forbear. I told us very clearly and carefully that the problem of marriages today is the issue of lack of Christian experience, genuine experience. For example, in Jesus' name we're praying. Amen. You find someone, he says he's sanctified. I hope you know, uh, we, we know what sanctification is as the pastors and leaders. We know that and we can write it, we can teach it. But the truth is that many teach it, many say it, but they are not experiencing it in their own life. You can see a, a sanctified life being displayed. Mm -hmm. And then you can tell and you know deep down, this man is not sanctified. This husband is not sanctified. This woman is not, it's clear and obvious. Very clear and obvious. And yet, if that man is given a message to put on sanctification, he will come up with point one. He will come up with point two. He will come up with point three. Ask him. You ask him if he himself has been sanctified. Ask him whether he's living the sanctified life himself. When you get to his house or get to his home, and then you begin to question the wife and say, how ah, is your husband? Ha, ha. But I will not lie to you. I am going to hell in the hand of this man. This is the man that is preaching sanctification in the church. And yet his life at home is another thing entirely. It's like a tiger or a lion at home. The children are not enjoying home because of the character, because of the behavior, because of the demon of their, of their father, the tiger. And yet he's saying that he's sanctified. Defective Christian experiences is what we are seeing everywhere. Defective Christian experiences. People carrying fake experiences from about claiming to have known that or to have experienced what they have not experienced. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace will be enormous to live right. The grace to live right. The grace to live right. Oh, Jesus. The grace to live right. We saw it this morning. In Zachariah, this morning in Elizabeth, we saw it clearly, and we saw that both of them were righteous before God. Was that not what we read this morning? We saw it. They were blameless. They were they were couple. They were couple, and they were blameless. Blameless before God. Can you imagine? Is it possible that a man will be righteous and the woman is righteous? Is it possible? Husband only and pure, and wife only and pure. Of course, it is. We saw it in Scripture. Aquila and Priscilla, they were couples, and yet, 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 they were only pure, clean, undefined, blameless. The Lord will do so. Let's pray. God do it for all. God do it for all. In the name of Jesus, this is our prayer. In the name of Jesus, grace to the holy, grace to the righteous. Grace to be a good example, example of holiness, example of peace, example of love, example of forgiveness, example of mercy, example of forbearance. Oh God, you receive grace this morning. Oh God, you receive grace this morning. I receive the grace of God. 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 Oh Lord, to be totally completely, entirely holy. Oh God, to be holiness, oh God, everywhere, everywhere. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the grace of God, the end of my life, the grace of God, the grace of God, more of 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 the grace of God. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive more of the grace of God into my life, into my heart, into my soul. We go to be more holy, to be more holy, to be more right.
righteous, more loving, more forgiving, more, oh God, enduring. Oh God, I pray. I receive the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace of God. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray again and ask the Lord. You find a, a, a preacher, and then Azar, that man uh, is vomiting fire. That man is oozing out fire out of his mouth. When he's ministering like they, people fall down, that one fall down, that one do this, that one day, if he release this, uh, healing take place and all that. Unfortunately, that man <laughs> has overcome anger. Unfortunately, that man is still battling with lust. Unfortunately, that man is still battling with the work of the flesh. And uh, I was ministering yesterday night in a particular place uh, in the night. And I was telling the people online that the greatest enemy is not even Satan or the world. The greatest enemy is self. The greatest enemy, a man who has not been able to conquer himself, conquer self-life, how does he take up his fault? It will be difficult. It will be hard. Jesus said, denying yourself, it is difficult to take up his call. Jesus was a practical teacher. And so what he said for us was, you follow him, and then, and then you deny him, not even follow him now. The first thing is, the person has been saved and born again and all of that. And then when that has happened, the person must deny him, himself. He didn't say deny all that, deny himself. And so you find many people in the world, they can't deny themselves. Anything that come out of their mouth, that's what they release to their wife. Anything that come out, if the food delay, they will just utter some negative word on the woman. Uh -uh. Brother, calm down now. Calm down. And then this, you see the woman lavish, say something because the man was not able to provide some things and all of that. And then you wonder, what is a Christian woman? Why is she behaving like this? It's a Christian man. Why is he talking this way? Why is it uh, getting angry incessantly? Why is it so? It is because something is missing. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Every missing link in our own, missing link. And the children are watching. They are watching how their, their, their mother will be getting angry every now and then. They are watching how their father will talk like a lion every now and then. And the children are learning very quickly. And later you wonder, where are these children getting all of this? Where do they get to know this and get to know that? You do not understand. They are watching. Don't you understand they are watching? Don't you realize they are looking at you? And those things are forming in them. We will not be bad example to our children. We will not be bad example to our children. Oh, God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, let me be a true replica of Christ in my own. A true replica. Replica, my God, what a prayer. A true replica, a true representative. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Mighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, by your grace and by your power. Oh Lord, I will be a good example, a good ambassador, oh God, for my home, for my family, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray anywhere I go, oh God, help me, Lord, to be a good example, Father. I am praying and I'm asking. I come to receive your grace this morning. Oh God, grace, oh God, to be better than I was. Grace, oh God, to be better than yesterday. Grace, oh God, to be holier than yesterday. Grace, oh God, to be closer to you, oh God. I receive in the name of Jesus, Holy Father, Righteous God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, I have come this morning, O oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, O oh Father, whatever overcome me before, O oh Lord, I pray, I receive grace this morning, overcome in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, righteous God, I pray in the name of Jesus, by your grace and by your power, by your grace and by your power, whatever overcame me before, I overcome this morning, I receive grace, I receive supernatural grace to overcome in the name of Jesus, Holy Father, righteous God, I pray, O God, every O God, God, no limitation, O God, my life, my spirit, my life, in the name of Jesus, 
Mighty Father, I pray by your grace, I pray by your power, every missing link in my life, oh God, Lord, fix it by your power, fix it by your grace, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, you are the one that knows, the Bible says, all things are open before you. Oh God, my Father, you know me inside, you know me outside, you know me, oh God, you are true. Oh Lord, I pray by your grace and by your power, every single link in my life, let it be fixed. Amen. Amen. And then sometimes you find either is the man that is not being considerate, or is the woman that is not being considerate, even in the other room, and you find each other not being considerate. You see wicked having displayed, and you see denial being displayed in a way to revenge and all of that. This is not Christian life. This is not Christian life. Many things that we surprise people on the final day. Some, it is not even because they fell into fornication and adultery. It could even just be their attitude in the other room. It could be their behavior towards their spouse, the denial towards their spouse. Not because they are even ill, just because they want to punish or to revenge on certain things that they probably like, okay, sure you will not give me this and that. I will know where to catch you. And then all of those things, those are not Christian lies that these are things that need to be corrected. And many people just think that, ah, it's normal. It is not normal, normal. It is not normal. It is because of the kind of Christianity we are practicing today. And that was exactly what I was telling them yesterday in the ministration. That all this pancake, platonic, and peripheral Christianity that does not have a real substance, real life in it. And that when you are confronted with real things, do you just fail? That's why we want to beg God this morning. And each person, we want to examine very critically and deeply into our heart, into our life. Anything that does not look like Christ. Hi, my God. Anything that does not look like Jesus. Anything, oh God, my Father, that does not look like him, let him be yanked off this morning. In the name of Jesus, whatever, oh God, in me, that is totally different from the Master. The Bible says, I see which I've called you, his holy stuff, ye only no manner of conversation. Hey, that's what the scripture says. As we have received the name in Christ, so walk in him. Our model is Christ, our mentor is Christ, our example is Christ, not any pastor. Christ is our perfect model, perfect model. We are to follow him. Let's pray. Anything that does not look like Christ in all, the young call this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything in my life that does not look like Christ, oh Lord, I pray, let it be taken away from my life this morning, in the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father. Anything whatsoever that does not look like Christ, that does not represent Christ, who oh go, that does not take the pattern of Christ, who oh go, anything that Christ does not approve, who oh go, in my life, who oh go, let it be taken away by your power, let it be taken away by the blood of Jesus, who oh God, my Father, anything, who oh go, that is in my life, who oh go, that does, that we not glorify God, that does not glorify God. Let it be taken away from my life, oh God. Anything, oh God, any attitude, any behavior, any lifestyle, any habit, oh God, that does not glorify God. Oh God, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let it be flushed out of my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I pray, oh God, anything whatsoever, anything whatsoever that does not glorify you, that does not glorify the Father, that does not bring glory to heaven, that does not bring, oh God, Father, fragrance of joy to heaven. Oh Lord, I pray in my life, oh God, in my secret, oh God, in my open, oh God, in my private life, oh God, in my office life, oh God, in my home life, oh God, in the pulpit life, oh God, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, let it be taken away from my life, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Holy Father, I just God, anything whatsoever that is in my life, oh God, that is not giving glory to you, oh Lord, I pray 
you this morning by the blood of Jesus. Let it be taken away from my life to God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray. Every single negative part of my life, oh God. Every negative part of my heart, oh God. Every negative part of my life. Oh God, that is not giving glory to you, oh God. Oh Lord, I pray you. Let it be taken away by the blood of Jesus. Let it be taken away by the blood of Jesus. Let it be taken away by the blood of Jesus. Oh God, whatever is not giving glory to you, oh God, is can hinder me from making heaven. Oh Lord, I pray anything in my life, oh God, that is not annoying, that is not God annoying, that is not Christ annoying, that is not God away from me. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, every nature, every character, every habit of the old man in my life, oh God, take it away, 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 oh God, by the blood of Jesus, every habit of the old man, every dark point in my life, oh God, every dark side in my life, oh God, let the glorious light of God dispel it, oh God, every dark secret. Oh God, may the light of God be spent, oh God. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, anything in my life, oh God, anything in my home, oh God, anything that is not right in me, oh God. Lord of Jesus, take it away, take it away, take it away. Lord, I will not hide anything, oh God. I will not keep anything, oh God. That is why I came to pray this morning, oh Lord, my Father, anything in my life, oh God. Anything in my home, oh God, anything in me, oh God, that is not giving glory to you, oh God, any area of my life, oh God, any aspect of my life, oh God, any fashion of my life, oh God, any facet of my life, oh God, that is not giving glory to you, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that by the blood of Jesus, let that area, oh God, be rectified, oh God. Oh Lord, I pray, give me grace, oh God, grace for cleansing. Oh God, oh God, cleanse me totally and completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We want to deeply beg God for our children. We want to deeply beg pastors and leaders. I sometimes when I say something here, I, by the grace of God, even as much as want. Is privileged to lead congregation. I majorly, majorly, aside all of those things, I deal with young people, generally speaking, by my whatever, whether by church, whether by schooling, whether by teaching or whatever, I deal with young people. And the, the level of pressure and the level of things that are happening today, they are alarming. For example, look at what happened a few days ago on Facebook, where they were posting that young lady, uh, what's her name, Esther Buya or whatever, who was completely naked. In fact, the yes, for those who were watching the video anyway, but let me not go into that. And then now naked from, from the right up, at least that's what they say, even when you school and all of that, for those, but for a child of God, you can't play the video, but I'm going somewhere. This is where I'm going. Now, since I was not familiar with the name, I said, okay, how can somebody, okay, you are naked and then you are sending to a boyfriend or whatever, how can this thing come to internet? Even if you are doing rubbish, you are a prostitute or whatever, why are you uploading things on the internet? <laughs> Satan has agenda. Pastors and leaders, Satan has agenda. He has agenda. He, must, he wants to make sure he capture and destroy a lot of young lives. And eventually, I, I typed the name, okay, by the time I checked the timeline, nobody told me to run out of that place. By the time I, was, I saw video uploaded and all of that. Now, imagine our young people. This is why you find immorality pervading. Go to TikTok and find what young people are doing. Go to IG. That Instagram and see what your, some people are posting. Go to Twitter, go to all of those social media and, and see what a lot of young in the church they are not they are known to be quiet. This one, that one. By the time you get to their social media handle, 
And sometimes some of them will decorate you with a different name that you can never detect. You can never know they bear such a name. It is terrible. It is terrible. The devil has an agenda to waste the life of young people and by and by, it can waste the society and waste the world. The immorality, the rate of immorality is terrific. It is alarming. We want to beg God for our children. Can our children survive society like this? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Let's look at it. At 21, verse 8 and 9. At 21, verse 8 and 9. And the next day, we that are of, of first from name departed and came unto Syria, and we entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which are, which was one of the seven, and abode with him. The same had four daughters. How many daughters? Four daughters. And the scriptures say those four daughters were virgins and they did prophesy. If they prophesy, it means that they must have been baptized with the Holy Ghost. If they prophesy, it means that they must have genuine Christian experiences in this case. It's not the prophecy of today and people are not born again and they are not saved. If the scripture recognized that they prophesy, if the Bible recorded that they were virgins, they were totally Christian. Our children will be Christian today. The world will not Amen. swallow my son. The world will not swallow my children. The world will not swallow your children. Ah! The world will not swallow your children. The world will not swallow your children. The world will not swallow your children. Social media influencers, demonic influencers, will not influence your children negatively. On campus, they will stand for God. At home, they will stand for God. On the street, they will stand for God. They will defend the cause of God anywhere they go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shall we pray? Pray for your children. Mighty Father, I come before you, O oh God. I bring, O oh God, my children, all our children before you. Holy God, righteous God. Father, O oh God, is waging war against our children. But I know he will not win. He cannot win. Because Someone, you are the one that is strong in battle. Holy Father, we bring our children before you. All the days of Satan, all the trap of Satan, all the glitch of Satan, all the tactics of Satan, all the agenda of Satan, all the plan of Satan, all the strategy of Satan over our children we fail in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Father, our children on campus. Our children at home, our children who go father, who are up to marriageable age, our children who go father, who are in one secondary school or the other, our children, oh God, who are in primary school, oh God, under unconverted teachers, unconverted friends, oh Lord, I pray. Anyone that the devil want to use to catch our children, anyone that the devil want to use to how to trap our children, who live father with me, they will fail, they will fail, they will fail, they will fail, they will fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Father, I pray, Lord, any child that is captured already, any child that is in the cage in the net of the devil. Any child that has been captured by sin, by lust, by pornography, by internet, oh God. Father, we are praying for their release. We are praying for their release. Oh God, release them from the captivity they are. Oh God, release them from the bondage where they are. Oh God, those who have been home, those who have been entangled, oh God, they cannot release them anymore. They are tied every hour, everywhere. Oh Lord, I am praying. Whatever tied them, Oh God, I pray by your grace and by your power, the caution that tied them, the thing they have done that tied them, the friend that tied them. Oh God, those that have been moved, who oh God deliver them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor, Pastor uh, Shagun, we kindly hand off this question for us as we hand over to Pastor Matthew. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. A great God in heaven, we want to appreciate you this morning. Thank you so much for the way you have led us. You have used your servants to lead us in this direction. And this is actually what we need for this time. 
the society is getting polluted, getting corrupted every day and every time. As we see the day of the Lord approaching, so also iniquity is abounding. So also iniquity is increasing, is prevailing. In fact, it is like a virus that is almost getting into the life, into the life of many, many believers now. Oh, great God, we look unto you, God, that Father God, you will help us, O oh God, that spiritual antivirus to be able to combat all those activities of the devil. Lord, put it inside us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray once again, O oh God, the grace to endlessly contend for the faith which was once given unto the same. Oh God, I pray, let that grace come upon our children, come upon us as well as pastors and ministers. Release it upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, for in Thank Jesus' you, name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Matthew, sir. Pastor Martin. Pastor Martin. Hello, Pastor Martin. Hello, okay. Pastor Martin. Let's be praying for him. Thank you so much, Pastor Shegun. Let's be praying for Pastor Martin and be calling upon God on his behalf and asking the Lord. The Lord will settle him. The Lord will be with him. I know some of us are praying for him privately, and God must hear us. God must be honored in his life, in his home. Let's pray. Let's stand in the gap for him. He will enjoy his life. He will enjoy the ministry God has given to him. He will enjoy his home. In the name of Jesus, all the orchestration Amen. of the wicked, all the maneuvering of the evil one, all the plans of the wicked one against his soul, against his life, will be thwarted, will be destroyed, will be shattered, will be nullified, will be broken asunder. Let's talk to God in prayer on behalf of Pastor. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray for him. Mighty let's Father, pray. we let's come before you in the name of the Lord. We pray, O God, Father, for our leader. We pray Jesus, for your Lord. Amen. We pray. Amen. Uh, please, do you ask anybody with prayer requests? So we... Uh, let's pray for everybody in the group that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We are proved to be uh to be unique in our way of praying. And by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in a unique way, God is going to answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. I always say something they said they say, there's no way you will see a son of a king. You know know that this is a son of a king. There's no way you will see a son of a chief. You don't know that this is a son of a chief. When you enter a palace, nobody will come to you before you know that this is a slave. You will call upon the name of the Lord. As a child of God, something unique, beyond human understanding, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, before then, I don't know that if any one of us know that, Pastor, your main loss is more than in loss. So if you have not heard about it, please, I let lots of pastors around that people call the family and let, let people greet them. So let's call upon the name of the Lord that from today, Things is going to do different in your life. Things go to do different in your family. Things go to do different in your business in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord, that King of Kings, Lord of God, will come before you want to sing this morning. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, as your child, I'm calling upon your name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, things are going to do different for me in the name of Jesus. Things are going to do different for God. Include your wife. It could not do that. If there's anything they call serious, let's not serious about it. Let's look at all my people on the throne. Ask him, the king of the Lord of Lord. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. People people must see me. They must accept Jesus Christ. People must see me without talking, without speaking, without anything to them. 
unto you for the privilege you have given unto us to come together this early morning to call upon you to pray to you to present our requests unto you the bible says he that answered prayers unto you shall all flesh come lord we have come to you because we believe we have come to you because we rely solely on you. We have come to you because our faith, our confidence is in you. Father, you promise us in your word. In Mark chapter 11, verse 24, whatsoever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Oh Lord, we have desired, we have prayed, we have believed, oh God, we have received in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Amen. Father, righteous God. I am praying, I'm asking. We have prayed for our homes. We have prayed for our families. We have prayed, oh God, for our personal life. Oh God, we have prayed for our children. Holy God, righteous God. We pray in the name of Jesus. All the prayers we have made unto you today, Lord, let it receive immediate answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, today is the first working day and we are going out. Oh, Lord, I pray you make us a promise. And Father, God is not a man that he should lie. You said, blessed shall we be when we go out and when we come in. Lord, I pray, fulfill this promise in our life, in our homes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, I am praying. 
I am asking. The Bible said, oh God, when I ask a thing, it will be given unto me. The Bible says, I will decree a thing and it shall be established unto me. Oh God, I pray based on the written word. Father, I pray any family, any of our family, my family, oh God, my brother's family, oh God, our family, anywhere where the devil is putting his hand, is troubling our family, oh God, we decree in the mighty name of Jesus, everything, every plantation of the devil in our family, every seed of Satan that have been sown in our family, whatever it is, no matter what extent it has got to, oh Lord, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the devil in our family, the Bible says for this same purpose, the Son of God was manifested that it might destroy the works of the devil. Lord Jesus, there is the work of the devil operating, oh God, in our family. And so, Lord, you came to destroy every work of the devil, every work of the devil right now in our family. I don't know what extent it is. I don't know where it started. I don't know when it started. I don't know who started it. Oh God, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, every work of the devil be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow us. Oh Lord, I decree, oh God, from today, Day, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, I pray for all our children, oh God, by your grace and by your power, our children will not go astray, our children Amen. will not miss good, our Amen. children will not do anything that will make you angry, oh God. When Job saw that the children might have done something against the Lord, he came and he prayed. 